What's going on, Swaz Nation? Swaziville here, and welcome back to the Gaming Chronicles. And today, as you can see on the screen, we are doing some more Happy Wheels. Now, you're probably wondering, why am I doing Happy Wheels for like the third time in this series? Well, uh, let me tell you what happened the first two times. The first time, you know, I just heard about it. I figured it would be fun to do. The second time, I meant to do Roblox. It wouldn't work on my surface, so I just ended up doing this again. Third time, we're doing this, which this time, we're doing a specific type of level on Happy Wheels, which is Pogo Play. Uh, I figured you guys would like this. It's basically like we pay, place the guy with the pogo stick, and we do a little parkour, we take out some bad guys, and just have a good time. So, um, yeah, let's hop right into it. So, yeah, like, uh, this is one of the bad guys, and they got, like, these really cool intros where the words just pop up. It's a really cool pogo fight. So, we took out the first one, and apparently we have a Segway guy as a part-time ninja. Let's, let's take him out. And, yeah, all the levels are pretty much going to be like this. Just like uh, little pillars, you have to jump up with uh, people with weapons trying to get us out of the game. It's pretty much how all the levels are going to be. Except some of them have got, like different color backgrounds, different backstories for all the people trying to take us out. And different fails. Okay, so um, I'm going to give this level one more try. And hopefully these ads don't come up the entire time. And then I'm just going to hop to the next one. So, uh, we've got the hobo again. I'm just going to go back to him because he's not really a, a threat. Unless glass bottles will break in this game, I have no idea. I haven't played in the dawn mode. And Segway Ninja got him out. And now we got um here we go. We took out the, the weird guy with the sword on his back. And now we have the thing stuck in our leg. Um right, let's take out this person with the spear. If we can. We're in a bad spot here. Um maybe we can get loose. Nope, that actually made it worse. Alright, well, we're back on our thing properly. This is a start. And now let's take out the guy with the spear. Okay, th th this just looks really bad. You know what, forget it. This isn't going to work. I'm going to another level. Okay. Alright, we got Pogo Fight G4. And you and uh, you can see who made the levels right here. So, I'm going to everyone who made the levels in advance. Uh, that I'm gonna be playing this episode. I'm going in order. So I'm gonna see if I can get to as many levels as I can. So shout out to everybody in advance that made all these levels. So we've got Pogo Fight G4 right here. Okay. So, well, um, wait, what's it say? Welcome to Pogo Fight G4. Now with more harpoons and bloodshed. Okay, um, this level's gonna be interesting. Level 1, the Lumberjack. See, guys, this is what I mean. Like, each level has different backstories for the characters. But it's all the same concept and stuff for each different Pogo Fight level. Alright, let's keep going. Maybe you're asking yourself, where are the harpoons? Uh, I wasn't, but okay. Don't worry, you will find them soon enough. Oh no, we better get out of here. Imagine there's like 50 of them come up from the ceiling and the floor just shooting at us. That would be terrible. Um... Well, maybe it means they're coming up later in the level, just not right now. Alright, so, I think we just fell through the floor of level 2. And landed down here. Surprise. Uh, I was surprised. I thought we were going to be doing the level. You wanted your harpoons? Well, here you go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are they just going to come out from nowhere? The real level 2. It's raining harpoons. Oh, I get it. It's like the, the raining taco song. It's raining tacos. Oh. Oh. That was easy. I guess we should just like jump out of the way of the lasers if he wants to survive. Oh, God. That was way too close. That was just too close. No way. No way. First try, and we're already past two levels. It wasn't that hard, was it? No, it wasn't. Man. This is great. All right, level three. Stay on the blue. You have four seconds to get there. Oh god. Um. Oh god. Oh god. Get on the blue. Um. What happens now? Oh my god. All right, I can go. Yay. That was insane. Just like fifty boulders on either side of me. Well done. Now for the pogo fight part. All right. Level 4, the Triangle Brothers. Um. 
All right, let's get past this as well as I can. Yo, no. Oh. We, we actually took them both out. And then our head glitched through the triangle, and we lost. Now I'm super depressed. And actually, before I start, let's take a peek at level 5 real quick. I think I can see it here. The Illuminati. Okay, so the Illuminati is in this as well. I think the Triangle Brothers were, like, secret members, because uh, the Illuminati symbol is a triangle of, like, an eye in it. So, I'm just I'm just guessing that based off of logic here. So, let's give this level one more try. Okay. Lumberjack, we meet again. Aha! I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to um, jump on, on your head. Uh, this shouldn't hurt much. There, there we go. And see, I let the lumberjack go, and he learned a valuable lesson about not cutting down trees and saving the rainforest and stuff. All right, I already know what this says. I'm not going to bother reading it again. I'm just going to, like, j boot, jump my way out. Um... Okay. Okay, let's go. And all right, so we know this isn't really level two. Let's just jump through here and fall down here. And we know how to get past level two, so I'll see if we can do it again. We did it once, we can do it again. Let's go. It's raining harpoons, harpoons in the sky. Oh, oh god, oh god. It's raining harpoons. I jinxed myself with the song. All right, so somehow we survived, but we lost a leg. That's really depressing. All right, now I'm going to the next one. The uh, Pogo Fight V1.1.2. Yeah, that's definitely a number. Okay, uh, let's go to the Pogo Fight person. And all right, so we've got a killer and a psycho. Are they pretty much the same thing? Alright. Uh, Psycho. Oh. And we've got a pitchfork stuck in our butt. <laughs> this, this is great. I can't get up. And. Yeah, forget it. I'm starting to level over. Alright. Um. All right, so killer, you just got pogo fight person. No, no, wait, you just got Swazi build. Yeah, let's call it that. And I just own someone. Yeah, let's call it that. Okay. Um. All right, so we took out the killer and the psycho, and now we have Harry Potter. Come on, I don't want to hurt Harry Potter. I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. Don't do this. Don't do this. Come on. Maybe I can go around him somehow. There's gotta be a way to do that, right? I just like jump over him. <laughs> and apparently, um, that went terrible. Alright, so we have Pogo Fight Fix. Alright. Um, my dad. Jeez, these characters are hilarious. My dad would never try and kill me with a sword. Okay. Um,. Oh yeah, guys, I, like I mentioned before, all the characters in each different level have different, like, backstories. Okay, so, um, we just took out my mom. <laughs> you make it sound so creepy, I don't know why. Okay. And, I lost. That's what I get for making it sound creepy. And, now, another ad came up. Another one. And, we're going to the next one. Pogo Fight Hazards! So we got evil Santa, because the real Santa wouldn't try and kill kids with swords. He would bring them presents because they were good and because friendship. Okay, and let's see if we can back up and jump. Oh, we did it, guys. We took him out. We're geniuses. Oh, oh let's go. It's just a prank, bro. All right, now we got um, a Segway guy of a sword. Let's take him out. Um, so we can steal the Segway and just beat the whole level. <laughs> Kidding. Uh, uh, that would be cool, though. We could just, like, like have the Pogo Fight person whip a Segway and just ride it to victory. Well, we took the Segway guy out, but for a price. We died. Right, I'm gonna give this level one more try. Because that just, that just went terrible. Oh. Wow, sword to the neck and 
a butcher's knife to the face. That was terrible. All right. Pogo Fight New Adventure. Oh, okay. So we got... I gave him a boombox here. It doesn't seem like a real threat. I'm just going to see if I can go past him without hurting him or his boombox. And we did. No problem. Okay. Swaz Nation is unstoppable, guys. All right. We got Crazy Lady with a sword. Crazy Guy with an axe, which took them both out. Untouched. Like a boss. And now I got a delivery man with an axe. And now we have the axe. And somehow the guy flew through the air. That was amazing. I don't know whether that was a glitch or the, the designer, the level of design that happened. Now we got this crazy person with a pitchfork and a water bottle. Um, considering we have this axe, it's like a battering ram. We could probably get past him if we can jump high enough. Um, all right. So let's try this again. Um, super jump, take two. Well, we took him out, but we died. That's that's a start. Right, I'm gonna try this level one more time. All right, jump over to keep the boombox. Oh, well, at least he's okay. And at least the boombox didn't break. That's okay, I guess. And we got the crazy lady with the sword. We got the crazy guy with the ax. And now we're stuck in a weird position. There's gotta be some way out of this. All right, so let's try and spin around. All right, now we're on top. There ain't no sobbing Swaz Nation. We got this thing on our face. Um, and there's a little yellow ball here. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but um, there's gotta be some way out here. I it can't just be stuck, right? And let's try and get our way out here. There we go, guys. What did I tell you? There's always a way with Swaz Nation and. The fan must have been what caused it. I thought it was just like a glitch or something. All right. The, the, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just like a moment ago, the delivery guy was like floating. And it was really cool. All right, now we got a pitchfork in our butt. Can we get out of this? We did. See, you guys? There's always a way. Never give up. Okay. Um, so let's try and get in a good position here. Um... And we had the pitchfork on us. Wow. Just as I got out of it. Okay. Um, I'm going on to the next level. After I exit out of that ad. Okay. Um, Pogo Fight Part 2. I would love to do Part 1 first, but okay. Now let's do this. I can finally try out the knife I found. What the heck? What, is this like dialogue or something? Alright, let's take out this person and see what he said. You have no chance to beat me and believe it. Um, I don't know what that last word was. I'm just going to skip it. And, um, you're going to pay for this. Um, alright. And then we got a maniac. Like, two knives. Alright, let's just go past him. Leave him to his business. And then, um, we took out that guy. Um, and then we got, um, male boy twins. Um, well, they're holding weapons. I guess I have to take them out because what weapons are wrong, guys? Unless they're for self-defense. And uh, I surrendered. Please spare me. Okay, I will. I'll just leave you like lying there, looking up at the sky or something. Just like get a nice view of the clouds. I'm not gonna hurt you. And not bad. You deserve to win. Oh, thanks, Mr. Watermelon. Glitched inside the chair. Um, and am I allowed to go around you? Thanks. And I guess that was it then. Oh my god, wait, wait a minute. This watermelon believed in me. I'm gonna see if I can get him to the finish line with me. Let's try this. Um, I right, switched so out, push this, and. Okay. Alright, so we broke the chair, but the important thing is the watermelon is okay. And then. Alright, so we almost got him there, but he, he kinda like saw me finish, and that's good. So. We got Pogo Fight Shapes. All right. And still loading. Still loading. I don't know what to expect from this level. Just to tell, like, really confused me. Is it going to be, like, the characters that I'm fighting are all going to be a bunch of different shapes, like polygons and stuff? Or am I going to be hopping across a bunch of shapes on each level? I don't know what to expect, but if it loves a chipping and level. And if it doesn't, I'm going to be really mad at myself. 
So let me see. We've got nothing. Um, or any minute now. Come on, Happy Wheels. Okay, so it was the first one. All, basically, the characters are all a bunch of different shapes. Oh my God! Look at the square and the, and the little circle. Oh my God! I don't. I don't want to hurt these guys. They're hilarious. Please don't hurt. I'm very fragile. Oh my God! These look hilarious. Oh, I broke the circle. Oh my God! The triangle. Oh my God! This level is hilarious. I might do it a second time, even if I beat it. This level is just hilarious. My glasses. That's okay. I'll pay for new ones. I see you. Oh my god, this is a giant eye and the little one spinning. Oh my god, this all is hilarious. Uh Okay, and then we got like a, a rectangle here. Like a little rectangle pirate. It looks hilarious. You'll never get my treasure. I don't want to get your treasure. I just want to beat the level. So, um, can, can you go away? Alright, there we go. We made it untouched other than we lost our helmet. I apologize because it's short. This is my first time using triggers. You know, and that's fine. Just like, you made all the people look hilarious. And that's what really matters. Pro win. At least we won. So, um, yeah, let's go with the next one. That was just hilarious. Pogo fight sub to me. Um... I don't really know what that means. Let me see. Um, Alright, so no enemies. I guess it's just jumping over these. I have a YouTube account. Um, called Fury Bite. If you sub to me, I will sub to you. Um, well, um... Alright, that's, that seems like a really good bargain, but I'm going to have to do some thinking about this. Um, but um, guys, feel free to check out Fury Bite if uh, you want to. But before you do, um, on this video, like the video, subscribe to me first and then him if you want to subscribe to him. Tell your friends about both of our channels. And be sure to comment down below a game you'd like to see for next episode of The Gaming Chronicles. Because I'm literally running out of ideas here. This is where I depend on you guys in the comments. But don't worry, guys, the video wasn't over yet. You probably thought it was because I was kind of doing something similar to the outro, but we have time for a couple more levels. Alright, so we got Pogo Fight Exclamation Point by Dirty Frog 5 1. <laughs> oh, okay. So, welcome to my first level. I hope you enjoy. Oh my god! What was that? Whatever it was, we survived it. Hit him. Okay. Oh my god, these effects are insane. Dodge. Oh. Oh, we dodged it like a boss. We have a sword in our stomach now. Now we have like a stealth attack. Stealth attack! Oh. Did it. And then just dots. And an explosion. That, that was depressing. Alright, um, now we got some stairs. Stop him. Alright, it seems like there's like something underneath them. And I'm like, these? I don't think we're supposed to go this way, but we did. That was so cool. It's like the beginning freaked me out. Okay. Um. Uh, we have Pogo Fight! Exclamation point. Same name, but by a different person. Uh, let me see. Don't go down. You know, I might just do this all twice. I'm I'm curious to see what's down there. I'm gonna go. Oh my god. Why'd I go down there? Alright, no now now to legit play the level. That was insane. Okay. Um Okay. Um we took this guy out. And let's go. I'm not gonna hide it. Wow, you're hiding a butcher's knife inside of a watermelon. Wow, no one's gonna be able to figure that out. Oh, except for me. Because I'm no one in nation. We are no one in nation. We are a nation. Oh my god. This guy's holding us back. Let's just let's just try this one last time before I end the video. What is with all the ads? Okay. Alright. We got this, guys. Let's go. Oh. Uh, Alright. One last time, I'm going on to the next level. 
。ああ。Okay, let's go. Oh my God, I squished his head. Oh my God, oh my God, Mama. That that was weird. All right, no, forget it. I'm going on to one last level. Pogo fight. Wait a minute, isn't this? Did we do another level by this guy? Hmm, it's weird. Okay, so we got. Wait a minute. Is this the same level? Why do people put up the same level at least once? No, I'm not doing this level again. I'm going to one we haven't done. Um, Pogo fight by third time's a kill. Okay, so I'm ho I'm a hobo who totally does not have a knife. Alright, then we got this guy. Look at this pathetic. Alright, so this is like. Dialogue or something, I guess. You can tell because they're using I in the sense. If it's I, guys, is like a grammar rule, it means first person. And now we got. Look at this pathetic piece of crud come at me. Okay, I will. Um, come at me, I'm hungry. Well, that, that wasn't weird at all. Okay, so we took them out. Um, fight us. Alright, I right, will. Let's go. Oh. Oh. Yeah, there's no stopping Swaziville. Let's go. Oh my god. Let's do it. And you couldn't kill a fly. Come at me. You wimp. Okay. Oh, we proved you wrong. Oh my god. Let's do this. Now we're stuck to him. Um. There's gotta be a way to get this guy off. With Swaziville and Swaz Nation, there's always a way. Can we get this guy off? Let's do it. We did it, guys. There's always a way. Never give up. Uh, so you beat my minions, now you have to beat me, and those coins are yours. Come at me. Oh my god, this is like a boss battle. Well, I'm gonna go past him. Wait, do we have to actually, like, kill him? Alright, we did it. Oh, we didn't have to beat him. There was just like a fake wall we had to knock over. Lol. Don't forget to save awesome replays. Uh, I would save this replay, but the problem is I'm not signed onto an account. So I don't think I'll be able to do that. But um, if I ever make an account for Happy Wheels, I'll be sure to save all my, all my awesome replays. Thank you for the pro tip, Mr. Third Time to Kill. Um, okay, so I guess there's no finish. We just kind of jump off when we're done. All right. There we go. So, yeah. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you haven't already, please feel free to subscribe. Tell your friends. And comment down below a game you'd like to see me do for my next episode of the Gaming Chronicles. And, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you later.